Ahoy mateys! In this video, I'm going to teach you how I recreated Magnets Media's Coca-Cola video by only using Premiere Pro. Make sure to stick around and snag some valuable tips. Coca-Cola spend endless billions on advertising every year, but will never once try to sell you on their products. They sell an idea, happiness, harmony, togetherness. But some would say it's a distraction from the disturbing truth. There are a lot of serious accusations against the company that they've caused disease, droughts, exploitation, and much, much worse. So buckle up. So let's get started. Coca-Cola spend endless. On this scene, we can see the Coca-Cola logo. If we open that, it's a nested clip. So let's double click that. Here you can see that I've created a separate image. This is a PNG file. First, we have the outline and then the version where we have the fill. So if we turn that off and on, here's the outline and there's the one with the fill. So if you're wondering how I did this, on the logo that has a fill, I added a mask. If we click here, we can see the mask that I did. And here you can see the keyframes that I've added. So on every frame, it moves up. So if we're going to make that from scratch, I'm going to remove the mask. To add the mask, just use this pen tool. And for example, we're going to create that. A wavy shape. And then on each frame, we have to move the shape. Click this icon to toggle the animation. Press your right keyboard button and then go to the program monitor and move that up. And then right arrow again, then move that up. So it's basically like that. With this text mask, you have to time it the same with the red background wave that we see here moving up. This wavy red background is also a nested clip. If we open that, it's a color mat. If we double click with a crumpled background below. So if we turn this the color mat off, it's a crumpled paper background with a stop motion animation and the match blend mode is set to linear burn. On this part, we can see a wavy tapered line moving across the screen. It's also a PNG file. You can easily create that in After Effects using a tapered line. But what I did here was ask the help from Adobe Illustrator. I created a tapered line there. So if we go in the effects panel, what I added there was a wave warp. If we remove the effect, you can see that it's just a straight line. And once you have the wave warp effect, it looks like it's waving. Coca-Cola spend endless bit To get that kind of effect, you can just copy a settings I've used. Also, to make that move across the screen, I added a transform effect. Just a simple left to right movement. Coca-Cola While on this part, it's also a nested clip. And if we double click, it will open. And as you can see, it's just a vertical image of a $100 bill. In order to create this, you have to change the anchor point of the image. As you can see, if we zoom in, the anchor point is at the bottom. Here. So in order to move that, just use these settings in the anchor point below the rotation. You can easily move that and move it at the bottom. If you hold control, it will lock into place. You'll notice that the images are shaking a bit. I'm using a plugin here. It's called Boris FX and it's the S shake effect. So that's a nested clip. The money is a nested clip. Once again, I use a transform effect to move it up and also down. In this part with the every year text with the way we fill inside, it's a bit tricky. If we open that, so what I did on this part is I created a shape. Let's just turn this off. It's a rectangle. And once again, I added the wave warp effect. But in order for this to work, we have to nest this shape. As you can see, here's the shape. I nested it and I added the wave warp there. Here's the wave warp. Disable that. After nesting the rectangle, we just have to apply track matte effect to the shape layer. We want to search for that track mat here, the track mat key. You have to add that in the shape layer. In the settings, in the mat, you have to target the layer above, which is the text every year. As you can see, I duplicated the text because if we only have one text, it will look like that. So I have to create a duplicate. To create a shape layer, just go to the size panel and create a rectangle tool. Select that one, place it below. In the essential graphics, you can change the color. Let's change it to red. And what I've mentioned, you have to nest it first. 
in order for it to work. And once you've nested the shape, you can add the track match key and target the layer above. On the product text, you have to do the same. The trick here with the bottle, so you don't have to reposition them all. For example, you remove that. Um, you can duplicate a layer by holding your Alt button and holding your mouse. You can easily move these objects by adding the horizontal flip to that. And it will automatically move to the other side. On this part, the black mask here, my computer is lagging because of the turbulence displace effect. So if we see the effects added on that nested clip, it's a turbulent displace for the weekly part of the upper and lower part of the mask. You have to create a mask on the bottom and on top. Because if you remove that, the mask, how do you remove that? I have to delete it. Because if we remove the mask, the turbulent displace will be applied on the whole layer mask. Harmony together. And everything will be wiggly. And you can also copy the settings I have used here to create the wiggly effect on the top and bottom. Ah, it's lagging. Let's turn off the turbulent displace so we can have a smoother playback. With this opening animation of the black mask, what I did there was I added the crop effect. So it's a crop effect in the transform folder you just have to add that to the black mask layer why i animated the top and bottom keyframes for the mask to open they sell an and idea. close and if you open the black mask i added an overlay nothing special and in the background you can see that there's a black paper stop motion animation another thing i added here was a vignette on the red background you can easily do that by going to the geometry color panel and going to vignette you can copy the settings i used here you'll see that if i remove the feather you'll see the vignette so the key here is the vignette should just be subtle to get this typewriter uh, effect we'll never once try to set i added a crop effect and i animated the right keyframe so on each word a right keyframe moves and in order for that to work we have to change the keyframe to a hold keyframe you select them all right click and select hold keyframe because if we use just linear keyframe but we'll never once try it will just slide on every word we will not achieve the typewriter effect another one is with this scared face if we remove the effects you can see that it's a colored one what i did here was i added a tense effect to make it black and gray and also the lumetri color i just reduced the saturations and added more contrast in this vertical typewriter effect this text disturbing truth you just have to animate the source text in the first keyframe type in disturbing and on the next keyframe add the truth or if we're going to recreate that disturbing remove that type truth so it will animate like that by using source text animation, you could also change the fill typeface on this text every year. I was unable to get Magnet Media's exact typeface. I used Sorin typeface for that. Maybe you know what exact typeface Magnet Media used on this text. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content.